Today I'm going to show you how to make the easiest quilted baby blanket. The link in the description box will bring you to the pattern pieces and the cutting dimensions for any size blanket from a receiving blanket to a crib blanket to a twin size, whatever you want to do. You can use a variety of different fabrics and that will also be in the link in the description box. I chose to use a diagonal print. You want to lay all of your pieces out on a big surface and decide which way you want all of your quilt blocks to go. Then you're going to stack them by row in the way that you want them to be. And then I like to stack them on top of each other after that. The key to quilting is organization. So once I've got them all stacked and by rows, I go ahead and stack them on top of each other, one going one way, one going the other way, and back and forth so I don't get them mixed up. I'm making this in a receiving blanket for a baby shower. So I'm gonna get my first row of quilt blocks and it's only four of them, four over by four down. And I'm laying it out exactly as I want it to show on the actual blanket. I'm going to get my second block and lay it right side down on top of my first block. Then I'm going to sew a straight line down the right side. I don't normally have to pin or clip these, um, but you can if you need to. I used a 1 4 inch seam allowance and you will do that for all of your quilt blocks and once it's sewn, go ahead and open it up and press that seam out. Again, you're going to keep it in the way that you want your quilt to look. Get your next quilt block, lay it right side down, right on top of the piece that you just sewn and go ahead and sew another line down the side 1 4 of an inch seam allowance. Open that up and then you're going to press the seam out and follow the same process for your last quilt block. Now I have my very first row completely sewn and I'm going to finish the same process for all of my rows doing one row at a time and then setting them to the side until you're completely finished. Here is all four of my rows completely finished. The next thing that we want to do is iron our seams on the back side of our quilt. We're going to press them one way, one direction, and then you're going to press it flat with your iron. I like to do it that way. You can also see here how I have pressed it all one way with the iron but sometimes people like to actually open the seams up and press them flat, and that's fine as well. Either way you wanna do it is okay. You just wanna reduce that bulk once it, the blanket's all finished. So now we're gonna piece these rows together. I've got the top two quilt rows, and from the bottom, I'm going to flip it up and on top of my first row. It's very important you follow this method so that it all stays organized. Line it up and sew a line all the way across the bottom using 1 4 inch seam allowance. When you're finished, go ahead and open it up similar to how you were doing your quilt block rows and press that seam out flat. Now you're going to get the next strip in your blanket and follow the same process. The next strip, you will grab it Flip it up and over so that it stays the way you want the blanket to look. Line up those bottom edges and sew across the bottom using a 1 4 inch seam allowance. Finish this process until all of your rows are connected. Once all of your rows have been connected to make the front panel of your blanket, like I have here, we're going to turn it around and the seams that you just sewn these rows together with, you're going to press them in one direction like you did your quilt blocks 
and you're going to press it flat with your iron. Once you're finished, I went ahead and brought it over to a larger table surface to show you better. And you can go ahead and place that on top of your fabric backing and cut all the way around it. I'd like to do it this way instead of doing exact measurement, so that way you get the exact size. Once you're done, you're going to get your fabric and lay them right sides together. I'll do this here in a second. And then you're going to pin or clip all the way around. You want your pretty sides of the fabric, like I just showed you there, to be kissing and facing each other. So to give this quilt a little bit of an extra flare, I like to round the corners. You don't have to do that, but here's how I do it if you do want to do it. Um, I've also included a curved pattern piece in case you need it. You're going to get any kind of cup, put it to the very edge of your blanket, and draw a line. And then you're just going to cut that out and do it for all four corners. Again, and the link in the description box will bring you to the pattern pieces and I can give you those curved cuts um, in exact measurement. So that way you can just place the pattern over the edges and cut it like that. Once you're finished doing all your curves, go ahead and pin your or clip your blanket together around all sides. And you're gonna sew all the way around your blanket using a 3 8 inch seam allowance, but you're gonna leave about a three to four inch gap in the bottom where you do not sew. This is so you can flip it right side out. I like to roll up half the blanket before I start sewing. It helps it to be maneuvered easily when you're sewing. You don't have to do that though. So now I have it sewn all the way around using a 3 8 inch seam allowance. And we still have our opening down there at the bottom. And here are our rounded corners. And the first thing you wanna do anytime you clip anytime you sew a curve is you want to clip little notches up to the stitches not to go through the stitches but that way your fabric lays neat and nice at the seams of your rounded edges when you flip it right side out if you have not done the rounded corners you just want to clip the corners all four to reduce that bulk when you flip it right side out now we're going to work on flipping this right side out go ahead and put your hand through the opening that you have and find a corner opposite side of your blanket, grab it with your hand inside and pull it through the, the opening at the bottom and go ahead and flip this entirely right side out, get it straightened out and then you're gonna make sure to use your fingers or a chopstick or some other tool to poke out each corner, whether it's rounded or it's a straight corner and then you wanna also put your fingers through the entire blanket on every seam to poke it out. Once you've done that, you're going to iron it flat so that way it's neat and nice. And then we're going to work on closing that opening. So what you're going to do is go to your fabric opening, put your two pointer fingers, just like I have it here, at the edges of that opening, and it should flip your fabric inside automatically. It will make it look so it's flush with the rest of the outside seams, and then you're just going to Hold it closed and pin or clip it in place once you do have it closed. Then you're going to top stitch around your entire blanket using a 1 8 inch to a 1 4 inch seam allowance and you're finished. It's a really simple blanket and they look intimidating sometimes when you don't know how to do them for the first time, but they're really not.